I will be going over a bunch of different party goer variants that have been created on the free riding backrooms wiki. <laughs> That's right. We are venturing into the lawless, scary place of the free writing backrooms website and i'm going to be talking about some of the craziest proposed variants of the party goer entity some of these make no sense uh, some are just dumb some are kind of cool i guess i don't know if you want to enjoy a little joke video sit back and relax and let's see how crazy these these party goers can be shall we so if you never heard of the free writing wiki for the backrooms Pretty much, it's a place where anyone can post anything at all. There's way less restrictions on what can be uploaded. Like the wiki dot fandom, they have, you know, these restrictions and stuff. But over the last few years, some people have uploaded some really goofy stuff. I might actually make this a series where I go over the different goofy stuff from the free writing wiki, but let me know if you want that. Drop a like if you do want that. But today, I'm gonna be going over a bunch of the party goer entity variants. Of course, as we all know, the party goer is a favorite entity amongst some of the fan base of the backrooms, typically the younger group in the in the fan base. Which, you know, in and of itself, there's nothing wrong with that. But some of these types and variations and sub entities, if you will, have a few things wrong with them. Let's get into the first one, shall we? So we already know of the party goer. And more recently, the party creator from Level Fun Plus. If you all want to check my video out on that, you can. Shameless plugging time. But what about the party saver? And that's right, folks. Someone's here to save the party. Oh, boy. So the party saver is said to behave the exact opposite of a regular old party goer. So instead of it being ravenous and a yellow monster that eats people, this one is nice. And it will actively help wanderers out of sticky situations. They're bigger and they're taller than party goers, and instead of having this bloody smile carved on their face, they have a white frown and white sad eyes. Now what do party savers do? You might be asking yourself. Well, I'm sure you can take a guess by the name, but I'll tell you anyways. They live and they hide in the depths of level fun, and they fight off party goers and party creators that are trying to attack wanderers. It's, it's kind of wholesome actually. They seem to have the similar goal as party poopers do to protect people from these evil yellow demons. But yeah, I mean, this isn't too bad. Oh, old red dude with a white frown. That's uh, not too bad, right? So yeah, this is one of the better ones of the video. And I say better very lightly, but it is just going to get worse from here. Amalgamation party goers. These are apparently a failed experiment, but we don't know who or what created the experiment. It's just a failed experiment. They're aggressive and they look like a distorted party goer. And they're born from something called a party spore. I'm not sure what a party spore is, but it, it doesn't sound very fun to me. But that's literally all, like that's all the lore we have for amalgamation. You know, they're born from party spores, they're a failed experiment, whatever. Molding party goers. These party goers are victims of the mold, which apparently is an entity or an enigmatic substance. I don't know what the mold is. There's no link or anything, but I can assume that it's some kind of mold. Anyways, these molding party goers can change between a liquid and a solid form. And because of this, they're immune to any kinds of physical attack. You, you can't punch it because you just go right through it. You know what I'm saying? And under this information, there is a sentence that says, Undying the Undying's theme starts playing. Dude, what is this wiki? Please, please leave a like for my sanity, please. I don't, I don't have much left anyway. Molding party goers can only be killed using some kind of cleaning supply. So like dish soap or hand sanitizer or something like that. Or if you got some Mr. Clean, you know, you can use that too. So you better remember to always carry around your weaponized cleaning spray if you want to survive the molding party goer. Monkey goers. That's right, monkey goers. These are very docile party goers that like trading with people. They enjoy it. Apparently there's 100,000 monkey goers total and they attack all party goers on sight. So because of this, they're allied with the party savers and party poopers. These monkey goers live on a level not surprisingly called level monkey, of course, and they're also really good allies with something called the Rickroll goers and the movie goers and the party knowers. My eyes are bleeding. I have a few questions about this one. You know, why are they called monkey goers? What is a rickroll goer? And most importantly, what is a party knower? Like seriously, there's, there's, no, there's no link or anything. Party helpers. 
So these are semi-party-goer looking creatures that take more of a human appearance. They're shorter and more shaped normally, but they still have a nasty smile carved into their face, and they typically lure people closer and closer to actual party-goers. They're very untrustworthy, and they lie to get you deeper into level fun. You know, they kind of act like henchmen for the party-goers, almost doing their dirty work for them, drawing their prey in. But, you know, this one wasn't too bad. I can, I can almost see this existing in the real lore. But let's see what the last sentence on this, this entry says. They hate carrots. Okay. Evolve-goers. So evolve-goers are a white version of the party-goer entity. And, of course, they're very hostile. Even getting near one will trigger it and it'll start chasing after you. And evolve-goers actually have the ability to change their color and their size into any kind of party-goer I've talked about and any kind I haven't talked about. They're kind of like a chameleon or an octopus camouflaging from real life. Evolve goers are massive. They're 10 feet tall. And the best way to describe its description is like that Indoraptor thing from Jurassic Park that's made in a lab. Like this party goer is that version. It has all the attributes from the other party goers to make it the worst kind of party goer. So how do these evolve goers get created? You might be asking. Well, let me tell you, when a party goer gets sh in the head, it will spin. And if it doesn't spin, in the first six seconds, it'll change into an evolve goer. That's literally a quote from, from the wiki. Like, the entire sentence I just said was a quote. Could it get worse from here, though? Let's, let's see. The jury is still out, but I think I have one more in mind. Termigoers. So, termigoers are an electric robot-type partygoer with a high-pitched, very scary robot AI voice. These are heavily armored creatures, and they're literally like the muscular terminator version of the party goer they don't like party goers though and they actually attack them on site and because of this as you know since you're a pro of the lore they are allied with party knowers with rickroll goers with party helpers and with party savers it's you know it's pretty easy to, to understand you know what i'm saying but these termigoers will help humans on site because they're, they're just really good samaritans but i don't think a party goer could take one of these things i mean these things are huge muscly creatures yeah those are those are termigoers Cool. All of these different variations of the party goer should act as a warning to people on how you can actually do too much to something and ruin it. You know, the party goer entity as itself is fine, but you add all these different variations and stuff like that, it just takes away from it, especially when the variations are not good or as good as the original. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to show you how bad it can get and how lucky we are that this stuff doesn't exist on the main wikis. Okay, so that was a bunch of what I would call brain rot, and I can't even form a sentence right now, so I'm just going to end the video. Again, thank you for watching. Let me know if I should dive into more of the free writing wiki to see how bad it can get. This video is a joke, of course. You know, don't take it seriously. If you take it serious, that's on you. It's not my fault at that point. Anyways, love y'all. Sorry you had to watch this whole thing, because if you did, you probably lost so many brain cells. You're, you're probably like 50 IQ points negative now. But I hope y'all had a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!